we were just looking at some highlights of Dick Butkus, the late great Chicago Bear, who passed away at the age of 80 yesterday. And when you see him play, and he was asked about how hard he would hit. You know, he said, I tried to play the game the right way, never dirty, just hit hard. I wonder if he'd get flagged on a lot of these plays today. Just watching these guys tackle back then, mm-hmm. I feel like they would. Every every play would be stop, penalty. So every time I see a hard hit now, I just wait for the flag. Even if it's a textbook yeah. hit, I'm just like, are they going to flag it or are they not? Mm-hmm. Now, sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. But a lot of hard, when you see a guy really get jacked up these days it's like you just wait you know mm-hmm. for the flag get a horse collar back then couldn't you i think they yeah. recall that well, i think so I mean, guys getting horse collar all of it all of that yeah, yeah. no face mask but and the, you probably get no. head to head too that's probably the only thing you couldn't do is face mask yeah because head to head they didn't that just became Not against a, the rules mm, that became a an emphasis when the concussion started mm-hmm. going up like that uh dick butkus uh, was a first ballot Hall of Famer in 1979. I don't remember him playing, but my father loved him. I remember watching him play. Tough as nails. I mean, he it, it looked like when he tackled you, it looked like a gang was tackling you. I mean, he was just so Im- mm-hmm. imposing. Yeah, he was an incredible defensive Just to player. watch him play was unreal. Died in sleep at age 80. Uh, and his, his career was shortened because of injury. Bad knee. Yeah, he had I just I didn't realize that. How long did he play? Eight years, maybe nine years. Let's look here. I, I'm sure I have. Yes, eight years. 65 to 73. Went on to be uh, some entertainment as well. Uh, he made some great Miller Lite commercials. That was the Miller thing. Miller Lite was really the thing. Good. Yeah. Very well known for being in there with his other, uh, his good friend Bubba Smith. Was those are the best. Great commercials between those two. They, those tr- they pretended to be civilized gentlemen, but, yeah. <laughs> but they'd, they'd rip the cans off. You know, yeah. They'd rip big cans God, in half. That was so great. Rip tennis ball cans in half. Was that all? That was so awesome. I wish they could get people together like that in one big room and make another commercial like that instead of this individual stuff, you know, where you'd have him and John Madden and, yeah. and uh, a, a uh, Min- well, Minnesota Fats. You've got uh, State Farm Jake and you got uh, mm-hmm. Mahomes and the coach. Yeah, but they're never. Yeah. They're at a diner. What do you I want, Dave? I don't know. I want, Those are all right. Those uh, are, they're okay. Uh, uh, Andy Reid draws a mustache on a guy. That's probably the mm-hmm. best one of them. In an airplane. Uh, you yeah. know Mahomes has no talent. You know who else is in it? Yeah, but Dave wants like. Easy, Dave. You want to walk that back? Hold it, Dave. Now he has football talent. <laughs> He's got talent. Football, football talent. Football, got football absolutely. Talent, I'm though. talking commercials. <laughs> yeah, but Dave wants like in a bar. I do. Like holding up a and sheet. I want And I want 20 athletes in there. But he yeah. Got, but, but Mahomes makes one with Troy Palomalamala. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's a pretty. What about when little Troy goes into the hair? You that's know, the one. You know, you're talking about little Dan for Troy. No, no. <laughs> Dave wants like an opening where they're drinking beer. <laughs> little Dan for Troy. <laughs> now he's like a hey, Dave, like a dander. Oh, yeah, little, uh, little mini Troy. No, no, that's not what Dave. Uh, Dave wants mm-hmm. in a bar. Yeah. yelling about pronouns. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pronouns. Ah, crunch. <laughs> Give me a Miller Lite. Yeah. My daughter wants to be called they. <laughs> Anyways, Miller Lite. Cigarette machine's empty. Yeah. Well, Bud Light's not going to do it. Yeah, he went smoking. <laughs> maybe they should. Maybe they should. Maybe they should do it. Maybe that's the angle they could bring back. Yeah. Uh, my son's years. sucking on a purple vape. <laughs> <laughs> Have a Marlboro like a man. <laughs> Yes. Who was the baseball player I like? So Bob Euchre was in a lot of those. Mr. Baseball. Hilarious in those. Now, he had great talent for that, too. Absolutely. All those guys did. He had his own TV show. After, yeah, well, so did, so did Dick. Wait a minute now. Mr. Belvedere. Mr. Belvedere. <laughs> Just to watch it. So did Dick Butkus. He was on, uh, he made an appearances in My Two Dads. He was in the Saturday morning show Hang Time, which Biggie and I watched because we're younger. Mm. Uh, was he? But was that the one about the basketball team? Yeah, he was the that played in the gym the size of. A, I did watch that. Of yeah. This room, of studio. Of this room. Uh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, and he was in that. Uh, Dick Butkus was in that. He did a few movies too, including Mother Jugs and Speed. <laughs> oh yeah, was it? Is that a Raquel was, Welch? I, I think I so. I don't know. Mother there was Jugs some. There was some sex appeal to it. I think yep. I've seen that once. Yeah, fifty years ago. That must have been right after he got out of. Fact, he might have still been football. playing. Yeah, he may have been. That was early 70s. Johnny Dangerously. Uh, mm. He was in Any Given Sunday, I believe, as an opposing coach or something. I know he was in it. Uh, I've only seen that. I don't remember him in that. He just uh, just a scene or two. And in 1986, Hamburger, the motion picture. Mm. All mm. from uh, don't know it. Dick Budkus. I mm. didn't see that either. He said, football for me was never work. If you love something, it's not work. Acting, though, was my real true love. I'd be honing my craft over at some crappy theater, and I really huh. enjoyed it. So he loved acting, and he loved – but football, he said, was just fun. I can't him. imagine that there would be anyone, maybe Gail Sayers, that would be the personify the Chicago Bears more than Dick Butkus. Walter Payton? 
Yeah, Peyton. Close. But That's I think Buck is ampl- but he's defense. Yeah. He was bigger. As he far as the defense. And is he monsters in the midway? Is that was he part of that? Or is that before him? I don't think I don't think I don't know if they called him that when yeah. he was playing there. Well, you know, if I okay, if you go okay, the Mount Rushmore of the Chicago Bears, Peyton, Butkus, Sayers? And Mike Ditka. Yeah, Ditka. Ditka. For, I mean, th- th- those guys exemplify the Those are the four. So, and short periods of time for Sayers especially. Yeah. Peyton there forever. And, and for Butkus, only eight years. What yeah. about the linebacker from uh, from the 80s Singletary. Bears? I know. Oh, Singletary. Yeah. yeah. Right, all those guys. Singletary. Might, if you just. He's good, Ooh. man. But I think, I think Ditka has to be on there. Don't you think? I mean, he led him to the only championship. Oh, and, yeah, and he was yeah, on tight end so. also. But I don't I know who you'd so. kick off. Peyton has to be there. Got to. Yeah, he's got too and, many And Sayers numbers. probably too. I, mean, I didn't Sayers, see him play. I didn't see him play, but he's such a short time. But he was unbelievably mm-hmm. good mm-hmm. for that Chicago. Those mm-hmm. Chicago. But they never won anything, you know, until 85. Mm-hmm. They never yeah, won. Yeah, that's when Buckus was there. I mean, early 70s. They were, they were not at the any good. bottom of the division. Media guy Craig talking about Dick Butkus in film and on TV. Go ahead. Building off that chemistry with Bubba Smith in the beer commercials, there was a TV show version of the movie Blue Thunder briefly in 83 or 84, ran about 12 episodes, but he and Bubba Smith were the support team for the super helicopter. Yes. Oh, the guys in the hangar? Blue Thunder, right. Was he good? Did you like it? Oh, you know, every scene was just him and Bubba Smith ranking on each other and busting on each other right. about who could fix the helicopter better. So, absolutely, it was great. They were great. Those mm-hmm. commercials were just so funny. Yeah. Thank you, Media Guy Craig. I mean, you, could, you could go down a, like a Weather Dave YouTube rabbit hole mm-hmm. of the classic Miller Lite commercials. Mm-hmm. They were fantastic. Uh, they really, they mm-hmm. were great. I love them. Here's the, uh, also from earlier this week, we introduced a new term. It's a dating term called a beige flag. Not a red flag. No. A red flag is uh, my new boyfriend doesn't tip or my new, new boyfriend runs red lights, something like that. A beige flag is, these were the examples we got, my new boyfriend uh, reads a lot, but he arranges his books by color. He'll have all the, b- the blue books on one side of the bookcase and all the brown books on the other, and it's a beige flag. It's just a little bit odd. Uh, a bit of a quirk, perhaps? A quirk. My uh, Doesn't mean he's going to slip a knife between your ribs. <laughs> Not necessarily, no. but it's a beige flag. Just take a note of it. Biggie had some others. Uh, my new boyfriend goes to the gym, but he'll iron his gym clothes. Yeah, beige flag. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hey. What about like uh, things like because these confuse me? Like a dirty bathroom, a guy's dirty bathroom in his apartment. I mean, because that's I think it should be a red flag, but it's I think it's beige for females because I think they expect it. Mm. They expect I, to go mm, in a guy's apartment and, and it to be not well, if, very clean. If he knows you're coming over, you would hope that he would make an clean. Yeah, I always cleaned it up. Yeah, I, I, well, I did too. But mm-hmm. yeah, I think if you go into a nasty bathroom, that's a red flag. Hmm. I do too because it, unless it's just a pop by unexpected visit, because yeah, that's yeah. even then. You know what uh, I do? Yeah. If somebody pop by, I'd be like, let, if it's a pop by, let me use the then. restroom. Yeah, come on in. I can need to use the restroom and give it a quick, quick clean. Yeah, keep the cleaning products below the sink. Yeah, we have a P one who says it's funny you guys are talking about this. I never heard that term, but I've been dating a guy for six months. Beige flag. We went to see a movie, Barbie in parentheses, hmm. two weeks ago. He uh, took his shoes off during the movie and laid them beside him. <laughs> yeah, flag. that's beige flag. That's beige. That's real beige. That's beige flag. Perfectly beige. In these yeah. days when you can uh, recline the seat. And she said it was a very one of those yeah, comfortable uh-uh. flat. <laughs> yeah. I, I'd move him to red. Uh, I think it's you don't know. I think that's I think beige. you can talk Taking about your that. shoes off in a movie theater? You're upgrading to red. I've told you I already don't like the reclining. <laughs> I know you don't like the reclining. What do red and beige make? Uh, but, uh, but if you're seeing Scarlet? Barbie... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I bet at this juncture, there's probably very few people in the theater. Yeah, and you're you're halfway horizontal anyway. Mm-mm. You're virtually horizontal. That's what I was thinking. I think I bet more people do that than you think. Oh, they take their shoes off in the. I theater. don't know. Too comfortable. But they make it so comfortable you know, yeah. with those those seats. I, yeah, but that's yeah. a lot. Shoes I don't know on. if that's beige. That you got to keep your shoes. On. We're in public. I call it. Beige. Well, that's true. I mean, you would never do it at a restaurant. Mm-hmm. My father used to, if he was picking up food occasionally, he'd just drive with his bare feet and go in and pick up seafood platter. I love driving barefoot. And, but he'd walk into the restaurant and pick up a seafood platter. Well, there's usually a sign. <laughs> yeah, no shirt, no yeah. shoes, no shirt. Well, sometimes you'd have to walk up to the window uh, you know, outside and they'd hand it through the window. Across that hot asphalt? Yeah. That Ashboro sun? <laughs> he'd do that. He's tough now. He's butt tough.
Yeah, those feet must have been like I don't know, like dog pads. Oh God, like uh, alligators. Yeah, yeah, those uh, his feet. Good mm-hmm. gracious, I could I wouldn't call that red. I'd call that a beige flag. Yeah. If you have your shoes off, because of the seating now, you know, because you lean back in the recliner, and, and you know, maybe mm. this this might be a uh, a follow up. Mm. Many people don't wear socks. Yeah, if you're, I think you at least have to have a sock on. Oh, I agree with that. You know, I, if you're going to take your shoes off, you better have socks on. 100% agree. What if you're in flip-flops and you've already barely got a shoe on anyway? No. Then I think the, the, the thong has, has to stay has, between the toes. I agree. I, that, because, I, now, she Don't didn't look. say, listen, she didn't say, but I think if he's got no socks on, it's an over-the-line. Agree. Uh, um, I just assumed. That, that, that's a breach. Yeah, I assumed a sock. You have to, I would yeah, say. I assume a sock. So mm-hmm. a beige flag is kind of something that a female would look at a guy and say, I could deal with that and change it. A red flag is like, Hit the road. What about like uh, like yelling at, getting mad behind the wheel, cursing at the guy in front of you in traffic? You know, road rage, but within mm-hmm. the car. I C- think cursing I, a lot behind the wheel. I beige. I beige because I so too. Uh, you know that's. Uh, I think it's a natural thing that a lot of times you get mad. Now, giving the finger, cutting off a driver, and holding the gun up. More, oh no! Well, red, gun. Red, yeah, red flag. Yeah. I mean, and finger and continuing to. What yell. about shoving a dog away when he's trying to get petted by you, and he shoves, takes the dog, he's like, go away, get out of here. Beige. That's beige. I think it's beige. I mean, oh, you, that's bordering on red. I don't think. Like animals. Sometimes don't it, like animals. Well, sometimes you don't want the animal right next to you. You know, I mean, I love my dog. Sometimes, well, I don't push her away, but sometimes I'm not. I can't. Uh, I'm typing. You know, I can't pet her all the time. <laughs> but I'm you not, are no, a red flag. I'm She'll come over, and I'll be <laughs> typing. You know, I can't do it. Fish and chips. You're talking about a beige flag. Go ahead. Yeah, this is Chips. Fish is the husband, and we heard you talking yes. the other day. Mm-hmm. He said that uh, his beige flag in our relationship was if he had ever seen me eat a Fig Newton before we got married. Okay, and had you never, because you had never eaten a Fig Newton, or you had? I deliberately never ate a Fig Newton in front of him until after we got married, because it's really disgusting. Oh. I like to eat the cake off of it, mm-hmm. all the cake off of it, and then turn the fig into a little ball of mush. Oh, oh my beige flag! You deconstruct and destroy. <laughs> that's a beige flag, beige yeah. flag. Cuckoo. I'm sorry. That's I, a I thought at first I thought she was just simply referring to the act of eating a fig Newton. Period. I did too. But yeah. it's her method. Yeah. yeah, that's beige flag. That's beige flag. I hope you didn't do that the next morning after you got married. It, you know, it's uh, that's like how. What I did eat. I do? That's like how I eat a Snickers. I think deconstruct. Beige, it's beige you know. flag. I, I would I would be okay if a woman said to me that's a beige flag i like to eat all the chocolate off of snickers but you would never do it on a date no i would not i think if the the two of you got snickers on the first day i wouldn't do that no but if i did if now that you've said it's psychotic it is it was taught to me by a a nighttime dj named mark anthony who's i think was winding you up every time i hear this story no i think that was real uh i had a snickers in my hand as i so often did and he goes you don't know how to eat a snickers and I said, oh, for God darn, I've eaten plenty of them. And he said, uh, no, no, you don't know how. He goes, eat. Sit down, bring me a knife and a fork. Right. And I ate, all, he said, eat all the chocolate off it. And I do like a chipmunk mm-hmm. all the way around. Like beaver. She, yeah, like a beaver. Like she does her fig newton. I ate all the chocolate off it. And then I was left with nothing but a skinned, naked <laughs> piece of <laughs> nougat and caramel and peanut. And then you eat that regularly. He's going to never eat it the same Slower. way. Slower. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And I, as I have said many times, one, slower. I think he was winding you up. And mm. two, you've done a disservice to the Snickers. To the Snickers. Yeah. 